Looks like Cursor is back again with a huge new release with the introduction of Cursor 2.0, their first coding model and one of the best new ways to code with agents. There are two new updates to Cursor, making it insanely better. Their first coding model, Composer, and their new interface for working with many agents in parallel. To start off, let's take a look at the Composer model. This is a frontier model that is four times faster than similar intelligent models. The model is built for low latency agentic coding within Cursor. It is something that can complete most turns in under 30 seconds and early testers found the ability to iterate quickly with the model delightfully and trusted the model for multi-step coding tasks. Let's take a look at it in action. Here it was given a task to investigate an issue where users were facing panics related to the event bus in version 1.9. The composer model takes on the task. It's reviewing the event bus code, which you can see here, and it is also issuing the context. Next, it will work on planning a solution and then it will check for related commits to help find the solution for this. And in this case, it's able to trace the potential race condition and it makes the necessary code changes all in under 30 seconds from planning to executing to testing. Composer handles the entire debugging process seamlessly so it can ensure that the fix is properly implemented and verified before moving on. But you can see that this composer model is an agent model built for speed and software engineering intelligence. It's achieving four times faster generation than similar models. And it's trained through the reinforcement learning on real world coding challenges in large code bases. This is where it is something that can focus on computer use with tools like semantic search, file editing, and terminal commands to solve complex problems efficiently. It's a mixture of experts model and it's optimized for low latency with an interactive development process that's capable of understanding long context and adhering to real engineering practices. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up to date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Next up, we have the multi-agent interface within Cursor 2.0, and it's designed around an agent instead of files. It is going to allow developers to focus on outcomes while agents handle the details. It supports running multiple agents in parallel, using Git work trees as well as remote machines without interference. You as a developer can have multiple models attempt the same problem to get the best results. And with Cursor 2.0, it also improves code review and testing, and it lets users easily inspect agent changes, as well as use a native browser tool for automated testing and iteration. For example, you can easily run the same prompt across multiple models to compare their outputs and combine results for maximum intelligence and accuracy. You can see that this is a prompt that was sent into the Sonnet 4.5, GPT-5 Fast, as well as the Composer 1 model. And all three of the models are working on tackling this task. And like I had mentioned before, there's a new built-in browser. This is where agents can now run and test their code directly, making the iteration process super fast, smarter, and fully autonomous. In this case, you can test an entire website automatically. It can handle everything from the interactions to validations, and it is going to save massive amount of time and effort. And all of this is being done directly within the browser interface within this new cursor update. This is a small release, but you can now turn speech into code with the voice mode, so you can prompt up anything with your voice now. But going back to this research blog, I wanted to reiterate how impressive Composer actually is for software engineering tasks. Just take a look at this image over here. This is Composer's software engineering capabilities that improves consistently over more training compute. And as shown by the upward trend in this graph, its context awareness and project and level intelligence gives Cursor huge boost in handling complex tasks. Essentially, with Composer, you can confidently build an MVP or a full project knowing that the model can manage the entire scope efficiently, from planning to coding to testing. So this is going to be really helpful for anyone using Composer in terms of building anything from scratch. With the 2.0 release, there's also an improved code review process where you can view all changes suggested by the agent across multiple files in one singular place where you don't need to jump around between individual files. 
new feature is the sandbox terminals and this is something that is now generally available and with this you can have it so that agent commands now run in a secure sandbox by default shell commands not on the allowed list will automatically run in the sandbox with the read and write access to your workspace but there's no internet access for this at the moment and you can actually have it so that you can customize the sandbox depending on your preferences for teams, there is a new team command feature where you can define custom commands and rules for your team directly in the cursor dashboard. These commands are automatically applied to all team members without needing local files and are centrally managed by the team admin. So I guess for enterprise and team users, this is a big win. What's cool is that cursor now also leverages the language server protocol. The LSP for features like go to definition or hover tooltips, diagnostics, and much more. They have also implemented loading and using LSPs, which are significantly faster, especially when you're working with agents and viewing different sorts of diffs. There is Python and PypeScript LSPs that are optimized for large scale projects, as well as with memory limits that are dynamically adjusted based off of the available RAM that you have available. There's also fixed memory leaks and improved overall memory usage features. Next is the new plan mode in the background where you can create your plan with one model and build it with another. So think of it as running some sort of prompt asynchronously with different models. You can choose to run the plan in the foreground or background or use a parallel agent to generate multiple plans for views. This is definitely a new great feature that will help you efficiently build as well as prototype with multiple agents. There's also shareable team commands. This is where you can share custom rules, commands, and prompts with your entire theme. And you can also create deep links through custom cursor docs for easy access and distribution. There's also a lot of subtle things like improved prompt UIs with file and directories now being displayed in line as pills. You also have copying and pasting prompts with tagged context that is much easier. And it is something that also improved agent harnesses. This is where you have the underlying harness for working with an agent across all models and it has been greatly enhanced with this new update and it also has notable quality improvements especially with the gpt5 codex there's also cloud agents which are now offering 99.9 .9 reliability and instant startup and there is a lot of other things related to uh enterprise related services that cursor has focused on like the sandbox terminal, the hooks, as well as the audit log. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. There's a lot of bug fixes and patches that they have focused and you can get a full log of that within the change log, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. And if you're looking to easily get started with this new update, you can simply head over to Cursor's website, which I'll leave a link to as well in the description. And you can download the latest update to access all of these new features. But that's basically it guys for today's video on the Cursor 2.0 release. This is definitely a great new launch and it is something that will help you prototype even better with AI integrated inside your IDE. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. If you haven't already, make sure you definitely do so because this is where I'm constantly posting on a daily basis with my team. So this is a great place for getting more AI in-depth knowledge. But make sure you also go ahead and join the newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe Turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos so that you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.